God is all about relationships and connecting with others. That's why he created Adam, because he wanted to connect with someone other than the three of him. And then when he looked at Adam, he decided it wasn't good for Adam to be by himself, so he created Eve, so the two of them could connect with each other. And then they went on to develop family, and family is where God places us so that we can grow and mature into adults and then go on and create our own families. In Psalm 68, God says he sets the lonely in families because he knows how important it is for us to be connected with other people on a meaningful level. In the New Testament, in Galatians, he describes um, when you become a believer, you become part of a family, a family of, of believers. And, and he is so in, um, all about that family relationship. And you see, it's in that family relationship that we see the fruit of the Spirit grow. Because um, if you're living by yourself on a deserted island, there's no need for for kindness and patience and love because you need other people to practice on it. You don't just do that on yourself. And when we um, treat each other, each other the way God uh, wants us to treat um, each other with, th with those fruits of the Spirit, it inevit inevitably brings joy and glory to God. And because um, relationships and connecting with others is such a high priority for, for God, the enemy um, turns his target sights on, on relationships and does his utmost to destroy it. And that's why we see the disintegration of family and, and the disintegration of connection. And he just um, has his sights set on ruining us in, in terms of our relationships and connection. When society talks about connecting now, they say, yes, we're more connected than ever before because of the internet. But um, in actual fact, um, that's not so much the case. You connect on a very superficial level, and it's true, it's made a lot of things possible. So now that you can work from home, so you don't have to fight against your work made at work or develop um, a kinder edge at work. You can order your groceries so you don't have to leave your house. You can download movies so you don't have to go out to a movie. And, and all of these conveniences are in actual fact isolating you more and more and you're becoming more and more insular in your own little home and, and not having to relate to others. And remember, God's about us connecting to others, not becoming um, isolated. I recently read an article about how um, uh, um, investigating or, or looking at today's current teenager generation and the effect that the smartphone has had on them because they've grown up with this um, device in their hands. And what they were describing was that teenagers no longer have to go out because they can talk to their friends through texting and, and, and sending emojis and all of these kinds of things and, and not av actually have to go out and interact with them. And because they don't have to go out, they're not getting their driver's licenses and they're not getting jobs, they aren't dating, and eventually they're not going to bother getting married because they can do everything on this little rectangle that they carry in their pocket or look at, have it in the palm of their hand. A scary statistic that was um, brought up in this article was how um, the smartphone is contributing to um, an increase in the incidence of depression amongst our teenagers. And it itemized a number of different uh, reasons uh, for that in this particular article. But basically, the increased isolation plus the negativity of social media is having a drastic negative effect on that age group. And we need to be very concerned because they are going to become adults eventually. And what are they going to be bringing into into their 20s and 30s because of how they were raised on the phone. So in Ephesians it says, it says we need to be aware of the schemes of the enemy. And so he's made it very clear. He's targeting uh, relationship and, and connection with other people. And so we need to actually work in opposition to that. And one of the primary places that we can do that is by actually becoming connected to a, a body of believers. Not staying at home and watching YouTube for your church, but actually getting out and, and participating and connecting with a church. Uh, become part of a small group where you can have a meaningful connection. Make sure your, your youth get to youth groups where there is meaningful connection, face-to-face -face time with phones put down, so that um, they actually learn how to begin to relate to each other and you to relate to each other. 
And so in just by doing those simple things, you are going to be counteracting the schemes of the enemy because you're working against his desire to see you isolated where you can become a target for his, for his thoughts, his lies, and, and his um, uh, schemes. And so I want to encourage you this week, get out and get involved with, with another group of people so that you can learn how to form that meaningful connection and defeat the enemy. We want to hear from you this week. Tell us how, what you do so that you aren't isolated and, and um, a target for the enemy. And Grant will talk to you again next week.